In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a slider. Let's create a new project. Okay, let's add um, JavaFX SDK library. Okay. Apply. Okay. Open in some builder. Let me remove um, grid paint. So controller is on the sample package. I prefer to use anchor paint. Here sample dot controller. One button and uh, slider you can use uh, horizontal or vertical. Just pick one. Text area. I will use the prefix called SLD, then quantity. Okay, BTN okay. So TA summary. Preview that's how it looks like the slider we can use between zero to uh, one hundred by default. So you can change the value. I like to show tick marks, then label increase by twenty five, and then tick count is three. You can change the default behavior, okay? For now, I will keep it as it is. Maybe tick unit, I will change to 10. So we can have 0 all the way to 100. Increase by 10, that's the tick unit. Uh, T counts, I will just leave it as a 2. So this is how it looks like uh, 0 to 100. Save it. So let's create a field. One more. Then add handle BTN OK. And make sure you have a controller. Okay, and data field, let me change to private. And um, we will add the annotation called FXML. TA summary. So SLD slider quantity. We can use a method called get value that's going to return double value. 
it is with a string value, so I may need to use a wrapper class called string. Modify options, add VM options. We can use a uh, module pass, JavaFX SDK library, add models, JavaFX um, controls, and JavaFX FXML. Apply, okay. So it depends. The first one is 0, 0. Make sure you return a uh, double value, 12.12. I think I should use a new line. Let me um, copy, paste it. Normally, quantity should be considered as an integer value, so I will do type casting. So 12.12 .12 will appear as a 12. So roughly 43.6 up here only integer value is 43. But in practice you may round up. If you have 43.6, you may like to have a 44. So here maths. We can use method called round dealing with a double. Seems okay. So we need to add um, maybe one more, okay. Let me learn it. So the first one will show you um, double value as it is. Next one is uh, integer and the last one is round up. So we have uh, 44. Okay. So depends on your applications you may use uh, int or uh, mass round method or you can use it as it is. Okay. I think that's all. Well, thank you.